everybody. My name is Sandy Sandy, and I've been a career artist for over 40 years. Through thousands of creations, I've continually strived to learn, evolve, and grow as an artist and as a human being. As Stella Adler said, growth as an artist and as a human being are synonymous. Over the years, positive affirmations and quotes have been my secret power mantras for success. I have worked in many genres and in most mediums over the years, working mainly in wet and wet watercolor for several decades I began experimenting with UPO paper over 20 years ago. Through painting and watercolor on UPO, my art really started to loosen up and became more interpretive and playful. In 2013, I discovered alcohol inks and my life has never been the same since. These days, I'm creating mainly abstracts and abstracted florals in alcohol ink. It allows me to experiment, interpret, and explore my impressions of the physical world without slavishly copying it. Working abstractly also challenges me to let go of my tight-fisted grip on perfection and the fear of failure. You have to go with the flow of the inks because I don't think anybody can control them 100%. They have a mind of their own and you have to be tolerant of that to work with them. I found it's best to let the inks have a say in the piece and let them show me the way they wanna flow. In other words, I start with a plan, but I try to stay flexible enough to change course and go with what the inks may suggest. Often these days I can work for hours without getting a single keeper, but that's okay because I know it's all part of the learning process. learn from our mistakes. So making them is a good thing. And it means we are doing something new and making progress. I feel you can keep doing what you've always done and be safe. But then you may cease to develop your potential. And where there is no growth, you can stagnate. Or you can experiment, try something new and fail. Sometimes it's painful, but you just have to have the fortitude to keep trying until you get it right. Easier said than done sometimes. Believe me, I know. But when you finally get it right, what a rush that is. Like Emerson said, unless you try to do something beyond what you already have mastered, you will never grow. I like creating abstract art with alcohol inks because it's still a challenge to me. It stimulates my imagination and encourages personal growth. I've been thinking a lot lately about why I love creating abstract art. And this quote is one of the many reasons. When all of your decisions are based on economics, you end up with a sameness of vision. You're not taking the risks. You're not exploiting the passions of your creators. You are manufacturing product for a huge vending machine. I've been there and I've done that. Now it's time for me. As T. McArdle said, Understanding abstract art does not come naturally for everyone. 
it's the kind of art that makes some people scratch their heads and say, my five-year-old could do that. What people don't realize is that the best abstract artists have excellent drawing skills, a finely honed sense of composition and a deep understanding of the workings of color. Most abstract artists have the ability to draw a perfectly rendered rose or a realistic portrait, but they choose not to. Instead, they choose to express their creativity by creating a visual experience that is more free and unencumbered by the weight of objects. At its basis, the same elements, principles, and directional flow that relate to any artwork are inherent in abstract works. Abstract art allows my spirit to explore beyond the physical world and create with my heart. When I get lost in creation, the feeling of love and of being connected to a higher power takes over. I am in a state of timeless bliss where the work is not coming from me, but channeling through me. For me, creating abstract art is a meditative exploration into the unknown and into a magical world of possibilities. Mm -hmm.